Hello everyone, there is an important update from UPSC regarding the requirement test for the posts of assistant and deputy architects in CPWD. There has been a addendum notice released recently in which the details of the date of the examination, the scheme of the examination and also the syllabus of the examination have been released and in this video we will be going through those details. As you probably are aware there was a, a, around a year ago. Uh, th that is in the month of July of 2023, there was a notification for the requirement of 53 vacancies of deputy architect and one vacancy of the post of assistant architect which was uh, given, uh, which was released a bit uh, after the release of this uh, it for the first notification. So there will be a combined requirement test for both the posts of assistant and also deputy architect. Uh, this examination firstly with respect to the date for this and the time of the examination, it is important to note that this exam is scheduled for 11th of August of this year, 11th August 2024 and the time of the examination will be 2 hour duration from 9.30 to 11.30 am. So 18th, of, so the 11th of August, 9.30 am to 11.30 am, that's the schedule for the examination, that's point number one. Now coming to the second point, that is with respect to the scheme of the examination. Uh, in, the, in the notice, you, we, you can also find the details of the uh, various cities where the examination is going to be conducted. Now which city or which center is allocated for you, those details will be given in the admit card in due course of time. The admit card is not yet released, you can stay in touch with us to get regular updates regarding this examination. And also, we at KP Classes are launching a crash course particularly for this examination that is the exam date is 11 so we have a crash course which is starting very soon you can contact us get in touch with, touch with us to enroll into this crash course and revise your topics before the actual examination. So let me take you through the scheme of this exam the, the first point duration it will be a 2 hour examination like I already told you and it is important also to note that this will be a OMR based examination it's not a computer based test it is basically a, a it, it, it is a pen and paper based exam as per the notification you can see over here. It will be conducted on uh, conducted in the form of an on, offline pen and paper based examination. So that's also clearly mentioned in the notif notice. So you can expect a OMR based examination over here, two hour examination and uh, all the questions. So general pattern uh, is expected to not be changed. The number of questions is not mentioned but the total marks is 300 marks for this examination and there will be a negative marking of one third for every question. So generally you will get 120 questions. That has been the pattern always for this UPSC Central Architect Service examination. So you will have 120 questions, 300 minutes. Uh, each question will have same weightage of two and a half marks uh, and there will be a one third of negative marking for every incorrect answer and the complete question paper will be only in English and it will be MCQ based question paper only. That's also clearly given in the order. That's with respect to the scheme of the examination. Key highlights to our examination, you need to answer 120 questions. So on an average, you will have one minute per question. There will be a negative marking of one third, that is 0.83 marks because the weightage of each question is two and a half marks with the total exam weightage going is the total exam weightage is going to be 300 marks. That's with respect to the scheme of the examination. Now moving on to the syllabus of the exam. Uh, compared to the last year's assistant architect examination, the syllabus more or less is uh, 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 the majority of it, it remains and change with minor uh, changes which you can observe in the question in the syllabus. There are 12, 20 points given in the syllabus which include architectural design, basic design and visual arts, complete computer applications in architecture, climatology, then you have point number five that is theory of architecture, data communication and computer networks, point number six now this data communication and computer networks is a new addition to the syllabus. It was not found, not given in the previous uh, syllabus uh, uh, of the last three times of CPWD syllabus that word, that part of this uh, fifth point was not mentioned. Then you have acoustics, com com uh, contemporary architecture, estimating and costing, physical planning, professional practice, interior design, landscape architecture, internet of things and application, earthquake resistant structure, urban design, construction management, ecology and environment, housing, conservation, building automation systems and finally NBC, National Building Code and Building Bylaws. These are the 20 points uh, which is uh, given as the syllabus for this examination and it is also finally very important to note the weightage of the exam in the final selection as per the notice it is also like every year 
the weightage will be 75 is to 25 percentage so 75 percent will be the weightage for the requirement test and then 25 percent weightage will be for the interview so remember doing well in the requirement test is of huge importance not only because it has huge weightage but also it is used as a preliminary selection criteria only if you qualify the requirement test you will be called for the interview and the interview will have a 25 percent weightage as per the official notice the further details with respect to who all candidate or who all will be called for the interview those details are given you will need to score at least 50 percent or above if you're from general category to be called for the interview uh, so i hope this video was helpful now that so a huge number of students have been waiting for this update Date. it is a welcome move we have a date of the examination finally now it is very important to have a focused preparation in the last two and a, one and a half month which we have in our hand so if you are to make a full utilization of this remaining 50 days of time you have enroll into the crash course by kp classes to recall all the concepts you have learned across in your past few uh, say months or years and you can uh, align them towards the preparation of this examination Thank you, everyone.